Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris, your automotive advisor here at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, in the sales department, of course. Now here behind me, I'm gonna have a 2022 Honda Civic EX sedan. I'm gonna walk around this vehicle, show you all the cool standard features and functions, so when you arrive at your local dealership, you know exactly what this vehicle has before you take it on the road, all right? You guys are in the market, you know what to do. Right over here is my contact information. You guys have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions for you guys, all right? Now let's go show you all the cool excitement going on right now on the EX trim. All right, so here we are right outside the 2022 Honda Civic Sedan EX. As usual, we're gonna walk up here to the Moroni sticker. You guys are welcome to pause the video right about there to explore on your own. Now, up on the top right-hand corner, it talks about your fuel economy. You got 33 for the city, 42 for the highway with a combined of 36. Down on the right-hand corner, it usually talks about the safety ratings, but right now, as you can see, it's not rated. Now, right over here is where the vehicle's made at. This particular car that we're touching at this second right now is made from Japan. The price point, and then the list of standard features, which we're going to try to cover today for you, okay? Now, I'm also going to post color options down on the bottom corner with additional charge, for example, like platinum white. It has a $395 charge for that particular color. I'll have that information down if anything else has that extra charge. Now we're gonna step here towards the front. As we do that, it comes in with two key fobs with remote start. Okay, so use remote start, you just hit lock, lock. Hold this bad boy down here for a few seconds or hit lock once. And then you see the lights here flash. There we go, it starts right up, heats and cool the car to 72 degrees, runs in 10 intervals, and the doors will remain locked. All right, now you can simply deactivate that by just hitting this button down here. Boom, there we go. Now you can have LED lights all the way around. That includes your headlights, tail lights, daytime running lights. You have all of your Honda sensing features standard. I'm talking about your lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control, your forward collision, and then road departure. We have also added traffic jam assist now with the Honda Civics. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. We have traffic sign recognition, and then also you have a little warning when you exceed your speed limit. You can set that threshold too as well. Now, as we're talking here about the front, you're gonna have a 1.5 four cylinder turbo with the CVT. It's gonna have a VTEC in it, first time ever VTEC with the 1.5 in the Honda Civics. So that's pretty nice. Now, as we swing over here, you got those 17 inch alloy rims. Check those out. We'll step back a little bit so you can see the side profile of this vehicle. I'm telling you, it's so much better to see this in person compared to photos and videos. At first I was like, ah, now I'm like, I'm loving it. Now it's gonna have a longer wheelbase compared to its 21s, okay? A little wider track too as well, and it weighs a little less too, about 34 pounds lighter. This does not drive the same as compared to the 21s. I would definitely encourage you to get out here, put your hands on it, drive it if you can, okay? Before you cross it off the list. Now we have body color handles, body color side mirrors. They're gonna be heated side mirrors. Then also for the first time ever on EX and above for the Honda Civics right here, blind spot information. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about this because you used to have a Honda Lane Watch, but that has been replaced with a blind spot. Now with the blind spot, simply when someone's in your blind spot over here, it lights up, right, or either side. That's gonna light up depending on the side they're on. Then when you have your turning indicator on, while somebody's in your blind spot, guess what? It beeps and lights up for you. You can customize those settings, okay? Got a little bit of chrome action going around on the top half of the windows right there. One touch power moonroof, little shark fin antenna right up there for your radio. Now you're also gonna have smart entry, so let's say the car is all locked up. Come up, put your hand in the handle, boom, it unlocks. You can keep this in your purse, your jacket, wherever. You cannot accidentally, you know, whoops. And then, Hit the like button, walk away, lock your keys in the car. Those days are over, all right? Don't worry about it. Just like that. Now you also have the walkway auto lock feature, okay? So simply I get my key fob with me, I walk away. If I had that setting on, I get 10 feet away with the key fob, boom, all doors automatically lock. Now, if you don't like that feature any particular reason, that's all right. You still can keep the key fob in your pocket, your purse, whatever. Just come up here, you get these nice little ridges. As you can see, put your thumb down right there. It locks all the doors for you, okay? Pretty nice and easy. We'll come right over here. Simply have the car unlocked. You can push your gas door right in. Look at that. Capless gas tank, no longer a $2 cap to argue, debate with. It's a simple slide and go, all right? Don't worry about replacing that thing ever. We're gonna step here towards the back. Once again, LED lights, tail lights here in the back. This makes a bold statement as you apply into the brakes. You know, for safety, of course. We'll kind of come back here towards the lid. You got like a built-in spoiler within the lid. Just wanna point that out to you guys. And then we have a multi-angle rear camera, all right? We'll show you a little more of that, what that means inside for you. 
Now we're gonna have a trunk release button right here on the key fob, or you can use it right here, all right? It could be a 60-40 split seats. Plenty of room in here for whatever you're gonna be doing from your day-to-day -day life. Now down here below, spare tire, additional tools, you get an emergency funnel. Now let's say I have this in my gym bag, whatever. Oops, I left it in there. You cannot lock your keys in the trunk, but automatically release once again. We'll take this here with us. Let's come here towards the back seats here quick. Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris. Sorry to interrupt the video. I just want to say thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you guys' support. And once again, if you guys are in the market, you know what to do. Here's my phone number. Give me a quick courtesy call. Any questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best. And don't forget to help me by showing your support by hitting like and subscribe. Now let's get back to the video, all right? All right, we'll open this right up. We'll check out the side door here quick. There we go. You guys know about power windows, quick and easy. Some additional cubby space down below. Then we'll focus right in there with the interior. It's going to be cloth seats with the EX. If you want leather, you have to get to the Touring model. Check out my Touring video right up there, okay? Now we have carpet mats come standard. No additional charge. You got a nice little courtesy pocket right over there for the additional storage space if you need it. Armrest right here in the middle with some additional cup holders. Folds right up and down, quick and easy. Now, we're also going to have your child car seat locks right up here, latches. So you got three of them. So you know when you take those young whippersnappers out with you, you can make sure they're secured and safe, all right? We're gonna jump up front. Checking out the door here once again. Nice little black kind of finish going on. You got power windows, power locks, mirror selectors, the window lock just in case those kids back there misbehaving or myself, you can lock me out. Down below, you got some additional cubby space, and then we have your trunk release right there, okay? We'll focus in right over here. It's gonna be a manual seat. It's gonna be a pump action, so I'll pump up. It's gonna raise this, pump down, lowers. You got your recline right up here. It's the second one. Then we're gonna have a squeeze bar right underneath, slide forward and back. Now, your hood release, you just have to come right in here, turn, and then there it is. Pull this towards us, and then it'll pop the hood for you, okay? Now let's jump right in the vehicle. Make sure you have the key fob with you. Yeah, push button start. So there it is. Hit the start button and watch everything light up. Just make sure your foot's on the brake. Let's get the climate going. All right, let's talk about the stuff over here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel here quick. You have your vehicle stability assist. You got some of the quick point reference here for your Honda Sensing features. As you select that, you'll see it right over here on the driver's interface. So you get your road departure if you want to turn that on or off, your blind spot information, or your forward collision right here. And all I'm doing is using this wheel right here to select up and down, all right? And you got to push it in if you want to turn it on or off or select. Right here is going to be your brightness for your driver's interface. Adjustable vents, you can see those throughout the whole thing. Once you get centered, it clicks at you. That's kind of nice, a little soft touch on these. And then your steering wheel adjustment, just here off to the side, no longer all the way down here. You, get, you know, you gotta reach. A simple pull that down. It's a telescope, goes in and out, up and down. It's very nice and easy to adjust. And lock it right back in place. Over here is gonna be your wipers. Adjustable and men. Headlights, you got auto lights. All of your Honda Sentin features are gonna be over here on the right hand side of the steering wheel, all right? So you got your cruise control, simply turn that on or off. You can see it's activated, able to use it right down over there, okay? You can set your cruise by pushing this little button downwards. It will be set, then you can adjust the speeds by increase, by up, then decrease by down, cancel. You're going to have your lane keeping assist right here. So as I select that, it lets you know it's on. That's also part of the traffic jam assist. And then same with adaptive cruise control. All right. So there it is. So now as I'm selecting this, you can see those lines up there adjusting, right? More lines means further away. Less lines means you're going to be closer. So let's say I'm going 35 miles an hour. 
and then there's a car in front of me going, I don't know, 29. It senses that, it slows me down to maintain that distance from that car, okay? Now with the lane keep assist, it keeps you in the center of your lanes too as well. So when you go out of your lane, it will beep to notify you or you can change the settings on that so it just warns you and not beep and not bring you back. You can totally customize that, bring it back, not stuff like there, okay? Check out my other video for more information about that. Now we have all of your media controls, everything right over here. You got your volume, you got your different sources, everything from right over here. Skipping radio stations, you got your voice command. Hey, click that, call Crazy Hunter Chris on mobile phone. Gives me a call, I answer all of you guys' questions, all right? Now we have your home menu right here. I'm gonna take a moment, be quiet, kind of thumb through some of this stuff, let the camera kind of focus. You guys have any questions, you know what to do. Drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions for you guys, okay? And if you guys ever arrive here at the dealership at Randy Kill Honda, don't be afraid to ask for me. Crazy Honda Chris here, okay? With this, you can see where all the seat belts, if someone's sitting down in either of these seats, if they're buckled or not, for all five positions, lifetime feed. So that's kind of cool. Settings for all of your vehicle settings right in there. All right, we'll come back out here, focus a little bit what's going on in the driver's interface. You got your fuel tank right down here below, all right? You got all of your driver's interface information going over there on the left-hand side, the speed limit right there. All right, how fast you going, a speed odometer, um, or you also have a digital right there, okay? So that's kind of nice. Now we're gonna have your fuel efficiency backlight. You don't see it at the moment, but you'll see on my tips and trick video on lifetime feed right there. It's gonna be right up here, pops right up, goes white to green when you're being fuel efficient, the green to white when you're not. Uh, so it gives you a little visual coaching on your fuel economy, okay? I get your outside temperature, 67 degrees. Mileage, it's pretty easy to see everything where you're looking for. Now we're gonna come over here towards the touch screen. You got your music options right here. That's your simply on and off button for the radio. You can also tune your stations from right here. Let's say you find a radio station that you like, you can easily save it by click and holding. Just takes a moment and then boom, that easy, all right? You have a scan, you have a text and everything right up there, time from there. You can also skip through your radio stations from these buttons here. I like this little lip right here. I can hold my hand kind of rest as I select stuff. You can pair up multiple phones, so that's nice. You got your radio option, FM, AM, FM, Media control right over here. Media, you got USB. You don't have a CD player, but hey, that's not a problem. Download your music, your books on tape, whatever the heck it is, on a flash drive. Then it's a plug and play. Come to this option, and then we'll automatically play like a CD, okay? So that's gonna be great. We're gonna hit the media button one more time. You got your Bluetooth. I don't have a device right now paired. And you got your smartphone connection. It's right here off to the side. Simply with Apple CarPlay is a plug your phone charger in, plug in, and then it's gonna display like your Apple Maps, other compatible apps, while charging your device, everything right here. It's gonna be very familiar from there, okay? Now, Android Auto is gonna be the same exact thing. It's just gonna be download Android Auto to allow all the permissions first, then it's a plug and play, all right? Same concept. You got your back button here. Let's check out a little bit with the menu. Right now the screen's probably flickering because my uh, camera's not keeping up with the refresh rate on this touch screen or the driver's interface. You guys will see that kind of throughout my videos. All right, we'll come right down here towards the climate control center console a little more. Once again, you get adjustable vents, nice honeycomb finish right here with a nice little black. It looks really sharp. You have heated seats, simply tap these, front heated seats, three tier. Dual climate, boom and boom, right? I can sync everything, click of a button, auto does everything that's power to get that climate to that particular point. I have on and off right here, fan speed. Each time I'm messing with these dials, they click. I kind of like that. You have your air circulation right here, different modes. Front defroster, rear defroster with heated segments, then you got your AC on and off. It's a little warm in here, so I'm gonna turn this all on here low. Now as we come right down over here, you got a nice little tray, deep tray here. 
USB, got a 12 volt plug in. Nice textured right here, cup holders. Just kind of block some of this light. There we go. So we know you can see you got your park, you got your reverse as you put it into reverse. Your multi-angle rear camera automatically displays. You can see right down here on the bottom left-hand corner is the touch screen. You have a nice 180 view as the picture shows. And then you're going to have a right behind you view, then a straight down shot from your rear bumper view. All right. Now with all these views, you can see your bumper. See that? Now, cool thing about this too, as I turn my wheel, guess what? That turns as well, then changes colors to let you know my tires are not aligned straight. Now we'll put that back in park. You got your neutral, you got a drive, then you have a sport drive. Sport drive is going to change the gear ratio for a more fun throttle response, and you have a low gear drive for the steep hills and mountains, all right? You have an econ button. As you smack this econ button, you come right here on the driver's interface. You can see when it's on by the green leaf. I'm going to hit it again. Now it's gone, okay? So econ is going to make you more fuel efficient. It's most effective for your highway driving. Um, you may see anywhere from two to four more miles to a gallon, depending on how aggressive you're driving, okay? You can be sacrificing electrical power up front, AC power, and acceleration power to meet that particular fuel economy needs. Now, the vehicle is going to have idle stop come standard to shut idle stop off. They give you this little button here. So every time you get into the vehicle, you want to deactivate that. It's right there. Just smack that button. It'll tell you right there, idle stop is off or on. Now I have it back on. You have electrical parking brake right here. Simply pull up. You can see it's activated by the red light. It also gives you a little visual right down there below. Parking. To release that, put your foot down on the brake and then push that right in. Then you have a hold brake if I have my seatbelt on. And then I get to a complete stop. Guess what? It holds the brake down for me so I can slowly take my foot off the brake and hold it until I apply onto the gas, okay? Check out some of this stuff right in here. Armrest. You got a nice little tray here going on. Looks like you can adjust it from here and here. Deep area right down there. No snacks in the car. That's what you guys are thinking. Right over here, we're going to have a giant glove box. So I'll fill it up, forget about whatever's in there. It goes to a different warp time space. You forget about what's in there. Kind of check out over here on the passenger side. A little bit on the texture in the seats. Now we'll come right up here. You're going to have your map light. One touch power moonroof. Opens, closed, tilts, everything like a power moonroof should be doing right there. Makes it a little easier to wave at people. And then you got this little adjustable for your lights. Now, as we also shot the vehicle, you're going to have your check your rear seat reminder. Let's take one last look here on the outside for you guys. Now, once again, if you guys have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. You guys test drove one of these for the first time or actually seen one, put your hands on it. Share with the community what you guys' thoughts are. Which one do you prefer? There's no right or wrong answer. Do you like the 21 or do you like the 22? I know Honda went a whole different direction, and in my opinion, I like it. It's not that bad. Hey guys, thanks again for watching my video. Hopefully it was very helpful to answer the majority of you guys' questions. If not, if you have one more or a few more questions, drop them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those questions for you guys. Then also, if you guys are here locally or just around and in the market, right over here is my contact information, or even ask for me, Crazy Honda Chris, when you drive through the dealership, all right? All right, well, thanks again, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys at the next video. Bye-bye.